The effects of climate change have badly impacted crop farming and livestock keeping, consequently interfering with the livelihoods. One community group in Tana River County is taking the bull by the horns as it increases vegetation in an effort to mitigate the effects of climate change. Our reporter Ruth Wamboi was on assignment in Tana River County and filed the following report depicting how communities are employing creativity to help the country attain its quest of re of uh, cutting greenhouse gas emissions by 32 percent as envisaged by President Uhuru Kenyatta during the Climate Ambition Summit in 2020. Here is part one of that report. The 35,000 kilometer square Tana River County is home to the famous Tana Delta. According to the National Bureau of Statistics 2019, Tana River County falls among the five least populous counties in Kenya with less than half a million people. But it's one of the leading counties in addressing climate change. At Mikameni village, you meet these community group members. Led by Area Chief Martha Wilfred on a sensitization exercise as they approved the invasive Mathenge species. Ungana kwa pamoja, tungoe visiki, na kupanda miti ya kisasa. Ambayo miti hii, mingine itakuwa ni ya matunda, mingine itakuwa inatusaidia kushika kava ya ardhi ili kuwa mvua ikinyesha itakuwa haisababishi umomonyoko wa udongo but where did this dangerous mathenge tree originate from huu mti ulikuja late 80s na DC ambayo alikuwa anaitwa mathenge alichukua hizo mbegu akazileta Tanga River na sababu ni kuwa area ya hola bora kulikuwa kuna dalili yoyote ya miti ilikuwa ni kama jangwa Madhara yake kwanza huo ukikudunga kuna bahati kama una ugonjwa wa sukari utakufa na madhara yake mengine ukikudunga hata kama huna sukari utakuumiza uta, either ukate mguu au ukate pale mahali ambapo umekudunga Mathenge is among the two common invasive species in Tana River that have affected the county making farming unsuccessful. <laughs> the other one is Mkoma. Kwa ajili ya hii mimea midogo midogo huwa inasumbua. Eh ndio ubaya wake. Sasa afadhali umalizwe kabisa huu mmea mathenge. Unakata hiyo mathenge unakusanya hiyo miti kwa shina. Na ukimaliza unachoma. Na ukichoma ukimaliza unachukua maviambuzi unakusanya hapo kwa shina. Ukimaliza unachukua kala moto unaika hapo kwa shina. Ule moto ukishika ile maviambuzi yakishika yanachomeka yana paka kwa ule mizizi. Ile mizizi ikiungua baada kuingia ndani huwa haiwezi kumea tena. Nimetengeneza eka tatu na familia yangu. Climate change poses serious threats to Kenya's sustainable development goals as Kenya's economy is largely dependent on rainfall agriculture and tourism. The impacts results in social economic losses estimated at 3 to 4 percent of gross domestic product annually. Apart from tree planting, they are also practicing fodder production for their livestock. As climate change impacts continue being felt in most parts of the country and globally, Mikameni residents are uprooting these Mathenge trees as they await for rains. According to Kenya's Forest Service officer in charge of Tana River County, Simon Guyo, empowering community forest associations and charcoal producers association to take care of Mother Nature have failed to reduce the effects of deforestation as each member acts as a gatekeeper. They are empowered to remove Mathenges from their farms and in return they are given some allowances which makes them, at least those families which are very, very poor, they can sustain their living. 
clearing and receding indigenous trees using coated seed balls via drone technology has become a game changer in regreening the region that have suffered deforestation. We are receding these farms after they have cleared the invasive tree species. They are receding the farms with the indigenous tree trees uh, which will help the community in the near future. So we are using drones basically to reach all those areas, uh, including forested areas, to see uh, where exactly uh, we need to do this restoration. Because uh, you'll find that uh, uh, restoring or dispersing these seeds by hand, you cannot disperse these seeds by hand uh, effectively to those forested areas, but the drones make it easier to disperse these seeds because it, they do the work uh, at an aerial view. And as Kenya strives to achieve Vision 2030, so begs the question, what is our individual contribution to our strategic action like a forestation, renewable energy sources use, as well as climate smart agriculture? And as a quick action towards reforestation, residents here are employing the new drone technology to achieve the 10% forest cover. Reporting for Prime Edition from Mikameni Village, Tanariva County, I'm Ruth Wamboy.